Hello everybody, welcome and thank you for joining me. It is a snowy day here at Everyday Counts and I'm glad that you're here. My name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program here in North Vancouver. So today we have an hour for chair yoga. So set yourself up, have water close by if that's comfortable for you. Make sure you've got a little bit of space and you're not going to knock anything flying as you move. And then choose to come to a comfortable seat. A lot of the time when we sit down in a chair, we sit down um, as we usually do, without even thinking about it. So I'm going to invite you to come to your seat in your own way that you're choosing to do. Deciding whether you want to use the back of the chair for support or whether you want to sit a little more forward. Choosing how comfortable and wide your feet are. And then take a big breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out like a sigh and start to let go of your day or week so far. A few more breaths just like that and feel free to lower, softer, soften your gaze or even close your eyes. And start to allow those exhales to let go of any responsibilities or burdens or heavy thoughts. And give yourself permission for the next hour to simply be here tuning into yourself breathing and moving in your own way. After you feel like those sighs are enough, start to come back to a natural breath, whatever that means for you. And consider breathing in and out through the nose. It's a really great way of directly activating our central nervous system. Breathing in and out through the nose, simply because the nose is smaller than the mouth, makes the breath a little longer. We make the breath a little longer and the body starts to settle down from the stress response. And it starts to activate the relaxation response just a little more. Of course, if this is not comfortable for you, then you breathe in your own way. Lowered or softened gaze, closed eyes, and take all of your awareness down to the soles of your feet. Notice how they're placed on the surface underneath you. and mindfully awaken the soles of your feet. You may want to pick your toes up, wiggle them, spread them wide. You may want to roll through your feet. You may want to simply push down into the soles of your feet to wake up the awareness of that support. And then whatever it was that you chose, allow your feet to settle. Again, in a mindful way. So noticing if you're sitting to the outside of your feet or the inside, the heels or the toes, or somewhere in between and see if you can balance that up. Letting the weight of your legs sit into that support too. And then we'll take our awareness to the back of our thighs and our seat to where we are resting in the chair and maybe even the back of your body if you're sitting back into that support. Once again, noticing what you've chosen, noticing if there's any small adjustments you'd like to make. Sitting the weight of your upper body into that support. You may even get a sense of grounding of gravity. Allow that to be present and then lifting up through the spine, through the crown of the head. Shoulders are soft, 
and away from the ears as best as you can. Collarbones a little broader than normal. Deciding whether you want to sit your shoulders forward or back, what's best and what feels best for your posture. Notice how you're feeling today in this moment. Notice stories that come up, but notice also as the stories come up, they also will drift away. Everything's transitional. Notice feelings that are present. Notice how your body feels today, your physical body. Notice sensations. Notice quietness. Notice discomfort. Notice ease. And then see if you can take it all in together. And that's hard if you have something that's particularly familiar or loud to you, but do your best. We're rooting to rise. And then starting to focus on that breath in and out through the nose, starting to make that a little longer. You might even listen to the sound of the breath as it comes in and out. With that slightly longer breath, smooth it out as best as you can. Steady the inhale all the way to the top and smooth the exhale all the way down to the bottom. And there may be some areas that are less smooth than others. And just notice it. Don't allow any judgment or stories to arise. Or if they do, simply notice them and allow them to drift off as you focus on the next part of the breath. So we have this longer, steadier breath in and out. And now I'm going to invite you to do about 50% less effort on that breath. Allowing softness where tightness or tension has crept in. Being present with not so many intentions to be focused on the breath. So it becomes easier, a little more fluid. The breath is important, but we also want there to be ease present as well. So we have this longer, smoother, and now slightly softer breath. We'll root down through our feet and seat, rising up from there. At the very tip of your nose, we're going to start to create circles in the air. I invite you to keep your eyes soft or closed. And just like that longer, smoother, softer breath, invite those qualities into the movement. And so allow that movement to get a little longer, guided by the breath itself. And then a little smoother, and then a little less effort. So it becomes full of a little more ease. Another two in this direction. And then we pause and then we'll take it around in the opposite direction. Longer, smoother, softer breath and movement. Notice how you experience this. A 
adjusting and adapting things to feel better for you. Get another two. Rest earlier if you prefer. And at the end of the next exhale, we're going to come back to center. Longer, smoother, softer breath. And from here, we're going to dangle that right arm down. We're going to turn the palm towards me. And as if that palm was on an imaginary window right at the side of you. So the pane of glass, your palm placed on that pane of glass. Collarbones wide and the shoulders are soft and down. Longer, smoother, softer breath. I'm going to do some shoulder scrubbing. So from here, with that palm on that imaginary glass, we're going to circle that palm. So imagine that you have a cloth in your hand and you're kind of polishing. And this is a rotation through the shoulder blades. You can imagine the shoulder blades, like my left palm, circling around on your back body. Notice the parts that are more challenging than others, the parts that you have more control over. Notice sensations. And then we'll pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. You might notice some clicks and clacks in there, some places that aren't quite as smooth. What we do is the same we did with our breath. We lengthen the movement, we smooth the movement, and then we allow it to get a little easier. Get another two here, resting if you prefer. The end of that exhale will rest and then circle through that wrist. And you can keep the wrist down, elbow bent, it really doesn't matter. I'm just doing this so you can see me. Maybe those fingers are wide, maybe you take the hand into the fist, soft or clenched. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Longer, smoother, softer breath. Nice. And then we'll take that arm, soft palm turned up from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. So, easing through the wrist, now the elbow, we've done the shoulder a little bit, and we're going to add to that if you want to, moving from the shoulder. That left hand can support you on your chair, inhaling up and exhaling down. Longer, smoother and softer, everything. Don't think that bigger is better here. If you want to, holding on to that left side of the chair for support, you can come over towards the left with that right arm and the spine, noticing how that feels in your body, always adapting and adjusting it to work with your body, it doesn't have to look a particular way. We want the steadiness of the movement, so longer, smoother, softer breaths and movement, even if that is less movement and you take rests between everyone. Option to stay in flow. Option next time that right arm comes up any height, take the palm behind the skull, open the elbow up, opening up through under that armpit, the whole right side, wherever you are, longer, smoother, softer breaths. One more breath here. Staying for the exhale. The next inhale, we're coming up and releasing that right arm, taking any intuitive movements you need to allow that to happen. Rooting to rise, longer, smoother, softer breaths. Left palm comes out, 
collarbones wide, shoulders down, and we've got that imaginary rag on the left hand right up against an imaginary plate of glass or a window. And with that breath, we're shoulder scrubbing. And this side may feel more challenging or easier than the other side. Just get curious with it, staying away from judgments. The inhale draws the shoulder up, the exhale rolls it down. Notice if your whole body's coming along for the journey, keep that rooting to rise so the spine is as straight and as lifted as possible. And we're not looking for perfect, we're just trying. We've got another two here. Then at the end of the exhale, we'll pause, rest if you would like, or we're going to take that round in the opposite direction. And again, imagine that shoulder blade on your back body, always accommodating for anything that's going on in your body, sensations, intuition that's telling you this is not a good idea. Another two. And I'm gonna take that hand down. Any intuitive movements you wanna take, go ahead. And we're rolling through the rest. Again, this can be in your own way. Fingers and thumb spread wide. You can take that into fists. That'll change up the sensation. Longer, smoother, softer. You don't have to match anybody else's breath. And I'm going to take that round in the opposite direction. And then when you're ready, releasing, turning that left palm up from the elbow, inhaling up and exhaling down. It's a great place to stay, moving as if through molasses, so as if there's resistance there. Option to stay here, option to start to move from the shoulder. Doesn't have to be a very big movement, keeping the joints easy. Longer, smoother, softer breath and movement. Keeping that right hand on that side of the chair for support if you want to. The left hand can come up and over. Sometimes it's nice to have that support, feel a little bit more control there. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay here in flow. Option next time that left hand comes up. Any height hand touches behind the skull, widening through the elbow. And wherever you are, we're drawing that shoulder blade back behind us. Maybe even the skull sits back into the palm of the hand. And we're breathing. Three breaths. If the breath is getting choppy, do a little less. Remember the ease present in all of it. Stay for one last exhale. And on an inhale, up we come, releasing that left hand. Any movement you need, go ahead. From here, if you're sitting into the back of your chair, as we come down through the spine, you may want to sit away from that support. May, may not. Just making sure that you feel stable. Hands on the thighs. We've done a lot through the shoulders. So rooting to rise. On the inhale, as we draw the hands back, we're opening up through the chest. 
And we've got that extension through the spine, open through the front body. And on the exhale, pushing the hands towards or on the knees and we're scooping the belly in towards the spine. So now we've got rounding through the spine, flexion. Inhaling extension, exhaling flexion. Taking this up into the neck as we lift up through the chin. Consider lengthening through the back of the neck rather than compressing it towards the top of your upper shoulders. Exhaling, rounding, tucking the chin in towards the chest. Allow this movement to be, again, longer, smoother and softer, guided by the breath. If you're finding yourself holding your breath or pushing, try and stay away from that edge. Notice how this feels in your body. If you want to add on with the arms, and I know we've already done a lot with the arms, inhaling, lifting up through the hands, and you can equally do one hand at a time and alternate. Thumbs spin behind you, hands can be as wide or as close together as you like, as if you've got a beach ball there. That's the inhale. And on the exhale, as we round down, fingers can come down, maybe even back behind you. Because the arms are extended, that takes a whole lot more work on all the muscles around your spine, the postural muscles, to allow this to happen so if this is too much for you then come back to supported hands and the arms are just an add-on to the movement through the spine make this movement your own so turn it into whatever feels good for you Inhaling and exhaling. Three more. Rest if you need to, if that feels better for you. Longer, smoother and softer breath. And then at that last exhale, we're coming all the way back to center. Any movement you need to ease things up, go ahead. Take a big breath in. Exhale, settle the energy with a soft sigh. Two more of those. Starting to let go of the practice so far and tuning back into this moment. Let the breath settle back to those longer, smoother, softer breaths. And then from here, I'm gonna come into a twist. So, allowing the feet to come over to the right side. And I'm mirroring you. Sitting forward on your chair, if that means that you plant your feet further and easier. If you don't wanna move in your chair, you can always twist. Sitting forward, but we're gonna use the back of the chair. So adapt it and adjust it for you. Rooting to rise. So this should feel exactly the same as sitting forward. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. The inhale, we're reaching up through the crown of the head. And on the exhale, I'm gonna to turn towards the back of the chair. Now the option is to take the hands to the top of the back of the chair depending on the chair you're sitting on, that left or right hand, sorry, can come back behind you. Your hands can rest on your legs wherever they come to. The inhale is lengthening, the exhale, we twist. Staying in a place where you don't have to use your hands as leverage. Routine to rise, every exhale is an opportunity to soften or deepen the twist. So every inhale, we're coming out of the twist slightly, and on the exhale, you decide what feels best for you. You can gaze over that right shoulder. Always 
adjusting to what feels better. The breath is longer, smoother and softer. Staying pulsing here or the next time we twist, option to stay for three breaths. If you're holding on to support, to hold you here, consider hovering the hands so the muscles have to do the work rather than using the leverage of your hands. Steady breath, longer, smoother, and softer. We've got one more breath to go. Staying for the exhale, and on an inhale, coming out. Take a breath and settle down. Mm -hmm. Hands resting, right hand's resting on the back of the chair. Option to sit to the front of your chair so that left sit bone is completely off the chair. Rooting to rise, and we're using that right hand to steady you. Above all else, decide for yourself if you feel stable here. If you don't feel stable, then coming back to a previous movement. If you wanna add on. Maybe this is enough, just allowing yourself to balance the pelvis, even though that left side is not touching the chair. Option to stay here. Option to dip that left knee down. Toes tucked or untucked on the back foot. And you can, um, if those toes tucked is not comfortable for you, you can always put a blanket under the top of your left foot. Now the further back the knee is, the more open we're getting through the um, front of the hip here. Rooting through your feet and that right sit bone and the right thigh and we're rising from there. Notice the breath, longer, smoother, softer breath. If there's something agitated in the breath, do a little less. The more you bring your knee forward, the less challenging this is. The more you draw the knee back and the foot back, the more challenging it is. So you get to decide. Tilting the pelvis and the spine. So this is a little bit like cat and cow. So we're inhaling and exhaling and finding a place that we feel stable. Fixing your gaze in front of you, rooting down feet and through that left sit bone, rooting to rise, hands still supporting you on the back of the chair or hands can come to your hips. If there's not enough room there because that elbow is scraping the back of the chair, hands to heart center. There's a whole lot of balance going on here. Notice what you're feeling and if you need to adjust something in your body. If you want to add on, just like we did earlier, arms can come into a cactus, shoulder blades towards each other as if you're holding a big beach ball, or extending the arms up as wide or as close together as you like. Front ribs knitted in, we've got a neutral spine, and we're breathing. Longer, smoother, softer breaths, three breaths here. Add on is to soften your gaze and close your eyes, if you feel stable enough. Longer, smoother, softer breath. One more breath to go. Stay for the exhale. Hands come down for support. Bring that left hand with um, left hand to the back of that left thigh, drawing it forward and sitting back onto the chair fully to the right. Take a breath in and exhale it out. Coming back to center and then over to the left. Coming into a twist to start with. So decide for yourself where you feel stable. Rooting to rise, the exact same seat we have in the beginning coming forward. Longer, smoother, softer breath. Shoulders are back and down. Collarbones are wide. 
This is the inhale as we extend through the spine. On the exhale, we're going to turn towards the back of the chair. And again, hands can come wherever they feel comfortable. One is not better than the other. Inhaling and exhaling. You can glance over that left shoulder on the exhale if that feels good in your neck. Getting that range of motion in. Notice what's happening in your body. And if there's any adjustments or adaptions you want to make to feel better for you. Option to keep pulsing with the breath. Your own rhythm. Or next time we twist, option to stay. If your hands are doing a whole lot of the work, hop, option to hover the hands and breathing here. Three breaths. Every exhale is a chance to soften, deepen, or stay where you are in the twist. Last exhale. We're coming all the way back to center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Settle into this moment. Using that left hand on the back of your chair, we're going to scoot the right sit bone off the chair. Now, if this is not for you and you don't feel stable, then do a previous movement or a movement that arises that you know you're comfortable with. This may be enough here. Just balancing the pelvis with that right sit bone off the chair. And if this is where you want to stay, focusing your gaze, steadying your breath. If you want to add on, that right knee comes down. And again, the more forward that knee is from the hip, the easier it is through the front of the hip. The further back that goes, the more open we're getting through, especially those psoas muscles in the front of that hip. And the um, hip flexors here, the psoas muscles, one of those. A little bit of cat and cow here. Noticing how this feels, and that will allow you to adjust things. So you come to a neutral spine. So you're rooting through both feet, wherever those feet are for you. Lifting through the spine, and here we stay, fixing the gaze. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. If you want to add on, hands can come to your hips or your heart if you do not want the support of the chair. And the last option is to draw the arms up, thumbs spin behind you like you're holding a beach ball as big or as small as you like, rooting to rise. And we're breathing. Option to soften the gaze and close your eyes if you feel stable enough. Three breaths. Find the ease. This is not only effort. Stay to the last exhale. Float the eyes open, drift the arms down. And then with the help of that right hand, bringing the right leg forward and sitting fully onto the chair. Take a breath in. Exhale it out, settle the energy. Now we're going to come all the way back to center. From here, we're going to stay, stay seated and add a little more. So we've done high lunge, now we're going to come into warrior two. So decide for yourself where it feels comfortable for you to be. We're going to heel toe or draw out that right leg. And again, I'm mirroring you. So that right foot is off towards the right. And the pelvis is going to shift a little bit for that to happen. Great place to be right here. There's a lot of external rotation here. Rooting to rise. Excellent place to be, and we can stay here in a modified warrior too, if you want to add on. Sitting your seat to, and this depends on the chair, sitting your seat to the left. 
And that way, the left sit bone for me is off the chair. Now this is gonna depend on the length of your bones and the height of your chair. So if you can bring something to support the right foot, or even lift that heel to make sure that you feel stable, choose something that really grounds you through that right foot. From here, I'm gonna send that left foot out towards the side and forward. So this you can see is off my mat. No, you can't see my toes there. Staying here. Toes are turned inward, so the heels out. That way I've got internal rotation. So if you put your thumb to that hip joint, you've got that internal rotation here. So we've got external rotation, so we stop the um, hips trying to go in two different directions at once, giving the um, pelvis a little help there. Option to stay here. Now that left knee can be bent, it can be towards straight, pushing into the outer blade of the foot. And the last option is to bring the left foot back, more or less, on your mat in your own way. Again, heel is extended out, toes turned in a little bit so we get that internal rotation. So from here, if you're leaning forward, maybe take a little bend in that back knee so we can bring the shoulders more or less over the hips. At every moment here, you have the opportunity to adjust your foundation. When you found a place that you're comfortable and feel supported and stable, root down through both feet equally. Even though you have the support underneath um, your part of your pelvis or maybe the whole of your pelvis and that right thigh, we're gonna open up through the left shoulder so we're facing um, the front of our chair. And again, shoulders more or less over the hips. Not looking for perfect. Option to stay here, hands to the hips, drawing that left shoulder back always and the gaze can come towards that um, right side. Option if you're adding on, arms come out fingertips reaching and now roll the shoulders back and down and plug the shoulder blades in towards each other so we get this openness through the heart rooting to rise we've still got that length through the spine now imagine that you're now rooting through your feet and your fingertips as well as through the crown of your head kind of like a star all of your energy reaching out in five different directions Option to stay here. Option to take the gaze over the front right fingertips. Warrior two. Just getting used to this, always adjusting things to feel better in your body. If you want to add on to this, on the inhale, left hand comes down, right hand comes up. We've got exalted, warrior two and then coming back to warrior two on the exhale inhaling and exhaling if you want to add on a little further this is the inhale and on the exhale hand or forearm down on that right side and we're taking the left arm up that's the exhale inhaling and exhaling collarbones towards the front of the chair. And so this is where all that movement through the shoulders helps. And the length through the side of the body. Mm -hmm. Option to pulse, option to stay in extended right angle, rolling the left armpit open, reaching with the crown of the head, the fingertips. Steady breath, collarbones wide, the gaze can come up towards that left arm. Longer, smoother, softer breath for one more breath. 
staying for the exhale, inhaling all the way back up, bending through the left knee, heel toeing or drawing that left leg in. If you adjusted your seat, we're sitting back into the middle of the chair and drawing the right leg in. Here we are in our comfortable seat, we're rocking and rolling those knees from side to side. And we're going to come to the other side. Steady the breath, settle your energy. And then when you're ready, heel toe that left leg out towards the side. The hips will go with you. And that knee is an external, or that knee's drawing out towards the left, but that hip an external rotation. Toes and knees in the same direction. Great place to stay right here. We can do everything we're doing from this place, okay? If you want to add on. And the side may feel very different, so be informed, notice what your body is saying, and trust your intuition. Sitting over to the right only if this works for you. And again, you can um, lift up through the left heel or take um, firm support underneath that left foot, depending on the length of your bones and the height of your chair. Option to stay here. And again, this is a lot, just holding up the right side of the pelvis when the left side is supported. Leg can come out in front, to the side, knee bent, knee straight. Turn the toes in, the heel away. And the last option is to bring that right heel back in a place that feels comfortable for you. Now, if that immediately sits you forward, bend through the knee, adjust through the foundation so you can open up through the chest and feel like you can sustainably be here. There's no right or wrong. You get to choose depending on what's going on for you today in your body. If that left knee is caving in, draw it out, and that may mean adjusting your body, may mean adjusting the back leg. We're gonna draw that right shoulder back, so we're now facing the front of our chair. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. Be honest with yourself and decide whether you need to change something up. If you want to add on, warrior two arms or extending the fingers out really long. Roll the shoulders back and down and then plug the shoulder blades in towards each other without changing that neutral spine. Root down through both feet fiercely equals um, weight distribution through your feet, even though you're supported under that left side. Push down and then reach into the fingertips. Crown of the head is already reaching up, so we're in like a five-pointed star with our energy here. Gaze can come over the front fingertips, fix your gaze, and here we are. Warrior two in the chair. If you want to add on, Left palm turns up, right hand comes down. That's the inhale, we've got exalted warrior, length through that left side, coming back to warrior two. Inhaling and exhaling, shoulders more or less over the hips. Notice how this feels in your body. If you want to add on, and it's only optional, on that exhale, hand or forearm comes down to the left thigh, right arm up, maybe overhead. Inhaling, exalted, we're going through warrior two to come to extended side angle. Now you can hang out any way you want to. You can flow, you can rest, Option to stay here, moving. Option, next time we come into um, extended side angle, we stay and we breathe. Open up through the collarbones. It's exactly what we did before when we had that hand behind the head. 
That, of course, is an option. I didn't give you the option on the other side, but that feels better for you. We've already been here, rooting through both feet, through the crown of the head, through the fingertips, and root through that left hand or forearm. The gaze can come up towards the sky. Another couple of breaths here. And then when you're ready, up we come. Bending through that back knee if it's not already bent. Heel toe, that right leg in. Sitting back onto the support of your chair. And then we're drawing that left leg into. Setting yourself up in a mindful seat. And then washing those knees side to side. Take a breath in, exhale it out. Nicely done. And from here, we're going to come into just a little hip opener and then a forward fold. So you can do this on the floor if you want to come into thread the needle. Otherwise, we're going to draw those feet in towards each other. And if you have a yoga block handy, that's fantastic too. We're going to take that right knee out towards the side, coming to the outer blade of that right foot. And if something doesn't feel right here, listen to that and adjust it for your body. If you want to bring that right foot to connect with the left foot, go ahead. If you have a yoga block or a stack of really firm books, you can take that underneath the right leg, right foot, to bring that up through the right hip. And then the option is to take that ankle on top of the left thigh, making sure that that left foot is underneath the knee. So it's not a kind of a, a strange angle, so you feel supported. Don't worry about where that knee is, but make sure that if you are here and you can't breathe properly, then take it down to a previous modification that feels more sustainable. Rooting to rise. So we're lifting up through the crown of the head, but we're seated. That left leg is our foundation, as is our seat. Hands resting gently on the ankle and knee or knee to knee. This is the inhale on the exhale, rocking forward only if you feel stable. Inhaling up and exhaling down as if you're on an imaginary rocking chair. And again, if you're on the floor choosing thread the needle instead, then same thing. You can pulse with the knees. Option to stay with the shoulders coming forward. Now, if you've got that one foot down, you can use that um, hand clasp or your hands on the left thigh to draw you forward. Lift up through the collarbones, but draw your belly button in. That'll support your lower back here. Same thing if we're here, collarbones wide, shoulders back and down, reaching through the crown of your head, but the belly is drawn in. So we're not overarching the back. Option to hover the hands. And that obviously is going to take a little bit more work through that corset area, through the lower abdominals to hold you there. And the last option here is to hold the last beach ball of the day until we come to the other side and take those hands out in front of you. Just the weight of your arms and hands out in front of you is going to add and increase the challenge in the lower back in particular in that corset area so you take what it is that you need longer smoother softer breath last exhale hands resting and on an inhale we're coming up exhale release that leg Readjusting for the other side. This side may feel very different. So knees and ankles in towards each other to start with. Left knee draws out, coming to the outer blade of that foot. And this may be very different on this side. 
always knowing what's going on in your body. And if this is not good for you for whatever reason, take another movement that feels better or rest. Focus on the breath. You can draw that foot up with yoga blocks or anything firm that's underneath that foot. That way we get kind of lift through the hip. And the last option is to take that ankle on top of the right thigh, but readjusting the right ankle so it's under the knee. This side may feel very different. Stay away from judgments, just be curious. Rooting to rise. Great place to stay. Longer, smoother, softer breath is where we want to be. This is the inhale. Option, drawing the belly in, collarbones wide. Shoulders back as we're pulsing forward, inhaling up and exhaling forward. And that's going to increase sensation through the left hip, only staying within what intuitively feels right to you and with whatever is going on in your body, adjusting and adapting things to what works for your body. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay forward if you want to, making sure that belly is drawn in so we're not overarching the back. Hover the hands, and that's going to add building strength and stability. And then the last add on. Thumbs come out in front of you, thumbs to the sky, as big or as small, a package, imaginary package in your hand as you want, elbows bent, elbows extended. And the key is here to keep that longer, smoother, softer breath. If the breath becomes labored, then you're doing a little bit too much. We've got three breaths. Experience everything that's present and always adjusting things when you get more information from your body and your breath. Stay for the last exhale, not an inhale, we're drawing the shoulders up, releasing the hands and releasing the leg. We're gonna sit all the way back into our chair, as deep as you possibly can into your chair. And you get to adjust in a forward fold here, whether you like your feet a little wider or closer towards each other. A little bit like we just did, hands on the thighs, this is the inhale, imaginary rocking chair, belly drawn in, collarbones wide, shoulders down, and we're rocking forward on the exhale and inhaling up. This may be enough for your forward fold. Always deciding what feels best in your body option next time you come forward to stay. Hands supporting you or forearms. And this is where I like my feet a little bit wider. Belly's drawn in and I know it's um, easy to kind of drop the lower back here. So we're sending the tailbone out behind you. So you've got a extended spine. I'm gonna invite you to draw that belly in. So we've got length through the crown of the head. This may be enough for you. If you want to add on, hands to the thighs, slide your hips back as much as you feel comfortable so you feel really stable and then taking the ribs down to inside or resting on the upper legs. Chin in towards the chest, head at heart height and this is where we stay. Great place to be, any head injuries, eye conditions. Um, like glaucoma or detached retinas, you're staying here, head at heart height, always coming up if you're feeling dizzy in any way. Hands can slide down towards the shins, the ankles. If you have something that brings the floor to you that is stable, then you can do that. Last option, draw the chin in towards the chest and we're resting our full weight of our body on the thighs as we come forward, hands supporting you wherever they feel best for you, or taking opposite elbows and we're dangling. Head can be soft, neck easy. 
Any time that this doesn't feel right to you, take your hands to your upper legs, chin in towards your chest, bringing yourself up and rest immediately into the back of your chair. Steady breath, longer, smoother, softer breath. You got another five breaths here. Anything that doesn't feel right to you, then you come up immediately. Last breath, more or less. Stay for longer if that feels good. Hands come back up to the top of the legs, upper knees. Chin in towards your chest to lengthen through the back of the neck and strengthen it. As you inhale, come all the way up, sitting back into your chair. Lightness through the head, especially if your head is below your heart, is quite common. So pick something you can rest your eyes on easily and start to focus back on your breath. When you feel ready, if there's a place close by, like a bed or a couch that you prefer to rest and to relaxation, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, adjust your body in its own way to come to relaxation yourself. Maybe taking an extra layer on, whatever feels best for you. And then settling in. When you're ready, taking a full breath in. Exhaling it out long and soft. Just like we did at the beginning, three more. Inhaling and on that soft exhale, sigh, let go of your practice. It's already done, it's over. You don't need to overthink it. Simply let it go. And then let the breath settle. No control whatsoever, no longer smoother, softer breaths. It just comes back to its own natural, easy breath. Feel the support underneath you and deepen your body into the gravity of the earth. Allowing your bones to settle. Your muscles and soft tissues and organs to start to let go of tension and tightness. The muscles of your face around your eyes and jaw in particular melt away like ice cream in the sun. So your expression becomes completely neutral. Resting in that support completely. Maybe noticing how good it feels to truly have time where nothing is being asked of you.
You can stay here for as long as you like. Simply tune my voice out to let it wash over you and not distract or disturb your rest. For those of you who would like to finish your practice without changing a thing, simply bring your awareness back to the room around you. The temperature of the air on your skin. The sound of your soft breath coming in and out or the length of your breath. back to rest in your body, the crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingertips, so you're aware of everything. Notice how you feel. In your own time, inviting in slightly deeper inhales, exhales, soft sigh out. Maybe committing this feeling of softness and relaxation to your memory, knowing it's here for you at any point in the day or night when you tune to choose into it, you choose to tune into it. Allowing those mindful breaths to bring movement into your body in your own way. Maybe you just want to stay exactly as you are. Or maybe you want to awaken, come back to a place to finish up your practice. Rooting to rise. Hands in a gesture of your choosing. Take a breath in. Exhale, softening your gaze or drawing your eyelids closed or your chin down towards your chest. And thank yourself for your practice today, for taking the time to be with yourself and noticing, for breathing, for moving and being present. I thank all of you for being here. Namaste.